And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Knocked off the puck. Taken by Hurdle. Blocked in traffic. Scrum along the wall. Puck picked up by Suzuki. Here they come on the attack down the right side. And that's a smart heads up play by Duclair. Quick pass to Hurdle. Poked away at center by Monaghan. Grabbed along the board by Hurdle. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves the puck down low. Sends the pass down low. Takes that pass back. Oh. They score! And just like that, it's a 1 0 hockey game. Well, they started like a freight train just steamrolling their opponent, James. I, I mean, they really dictated right from the onset of this game. That tells me one thing they were prepared coming in. There's no way that the goaltender saw this puck. I mean, there's so much traffic net front. I mean, screens all over the place. You can see him trying to track Bob and Weave, but he can't catch up to it. The Sharks couldn't have asked for a better start here tonight as they are on the board still early in the first. Yeah, they get their legs underneath them right from the opening faceoff. They get multiple lines into the game, and they just kept building momentum, and they're rewarded with that first goal of the game. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Fires it on net. Denied by the goaltender. The Canadians get a hold of it. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. Quick feed to Couture. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it to keep it out. What a hit, and that'll wear down the opposition. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. The Canadians have it from the corner. And that's a great hits up play by Vlasic. San Jose has been disrupting play all night long. And this is because of their stick position. You have to find ways to be aware and anticipate where that puck is going to be going. Doing a great job, but this is still a close one. Oh, save of the play! Whoa! He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Poked away in the offensive end. Taken along the wall by Stern. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. Hot save, and he made it look easy. Great job there. here in this frame. one nothing the score. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Moves it to Benning. Handles the puck at the point. Great defensive play to get in front of that one. Dished on over to Matheson. Here's a short pass to Coonan. Snaps it on that. Gives them nothing in front. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason, and this time, he bails his team out. Hurdles relied upon to generate chances for his team. Suzuki's a big name for this club, and they rely on him to generate offense. Before I send it back upstairs, you should know I'll be looking to see who will power their team to victory tonight. And it goes off course off a body. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. And that's knocked away by Addison. San Jose's moving it into the offensive end. The Canadians scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Harris. Here's a shot. That's gloved by Kakanen. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Duclair's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you gotta be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Ferraro's got it in the defensive zone. Addison's taking it from his own end. Quick pass to Hurdle. San Jose's got the puck in the corner. Fires it, and that's broken up. Quick feed to Addison. Ferraro's got the 
active in the Ozone. I mean, he knows how to put the puck to the net. He got the go-ahead goal earlier, and now he's looking for more. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And he takes the dish. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Sapkowski. And now he angles it across to Pozzetta. Puts it on net. Great save. Hakkinen's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. A chance in front, and that goes off a stick. Slides it up front. Scooped up along the wall by Harris. Takes a shot, big save. Moves it to Doc. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Centering pass, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here's a short pass to Carpenter. Puck hops onto the bench, and we got a stoppage in play. Past the midway mark in this period, the Sharks lead it 1 0. Nice job tying up his opponent. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Oh, save in the play! Tonight. Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it, you can feel it, and he can feel it after that last save because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. Moves it quickly over to Suzuki. Montreal's got it along the wall. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Across the line from center. Trying to get back on the attack now. Picked up along the boards by Savard. Oh, he'll feel that one. He got all of that one. Allen's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you have battle, when you have will, your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. In the final moments of this period, the Sharks have taken a 1-0 lead. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Stopped by the goaltender. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, squared to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Granlin's going to play it against the half wall. Shoots it. Love save made by Allen. Puck is frozen and we'll get a face off. San Jose's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. He might have a step here. What a stop on the breakaway. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage of play. San Jose's got it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Gallagher. Hipped off. San Jose has been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks in a great skip position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. Shoot. First 20 minutes of play is in the box. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. Period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. 
Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Montreal has been struggling to manage the puck. They've been coughing it up all over the ice, and it almost looks like there's a lack of communication out there. They need to start talking, know where each other is going to be, and execute on those passes. Lots of time left in this period. San Jose's ahead, 1-0. Montreal's got a hold of the puck and loses possession after a solid hit. There's a collision along the boards, and there's a whistle from the officials as the pane of glass is cracked. Now, uh, remember back in the day, James, the thunderous hit, and all of a sudden, the glass would explode or shatter up. Not anymore, and that's a good thing, so there's not as much cleanup. They just have to replace the pane. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. The Canadians take possession in the defensive end. Caulfield's got it against the boards. That's intercepted. Quick feed to Hurdle. Poked away. Hurdle's made a fantastic play, James, and he's falling to the ice. He's got the puck on his stick, and he still has the ability to lower that bottom hand and find a way to redirect the puck to the net. I mean, that's tenacity, that's courage, and finding a way to compete and roll your way to the net. Pass across. Hammers a shot. Tried to put it in the side and missed. Well, there's a recognition that he didn't have much room. Gets a little bit fine and just misses wide. Coughs up possession of the puck. Quick pass across to Anderson. Puck sent over to Eklund. Oh, wow! Devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. Moves it to Cooley. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Couture's got it behind his own net. San Jose's got it along the wall. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. And that's intercepted by Anderson. Here's a short pass to Weidman. The Canadians looking against the half wall. Shot, stopped by the goaltender. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Gooley. And he slides it quickly to Pearson. Looking to make something happen along the boards. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Turned aside with the glove by Kekkonen. the period left to play. We got a one nothing game to this point. Evans wins the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Solid hit on the play. Sends the feet in front. Dishes it off again here. Scores! What an opportunity! Shot. When you're in that high slot area, you know that you're going to be close to pond quickly, so you got to have a quick release. That's the first thing. And the second thing is the accuracy. If it's quick and it's on, you're going to score. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. And off the face-off, they take possession. Takes the feed. San Jose's got the puck. San Jose's got the puck against the boards. Works it across to Pearson. Quick pass to Gallagher. He's got a step. Scores! What a finish in the alone! Well, it isn't easy to score against these tenders, in particular in these one-on-one battles. But he thinks and is able to bury the back of the net. Great play from start to finish as he executes with some great speed to break away from the pack. And then it's all about the execution. When you're one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender, you bring yourself back to your practice days and you use your move. Montreal's got up by one here in the second period and I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. Gain the line and into the zone. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Well, uh, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. Pass across to Carpenter. 
Walter. Moves it quickly over to Coonan. And that goes off a player in front. Moves the puck. And he's knocked off the puck there. The Canadians have it now. Quick pass to Smith. And now it's taken by Coonan. Puck scooped up by Savard. Slides it quickly to Caulfield. On the attack along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Monaghan. Scores! And they're cooking now! Well, the opponent has no answer for them right now because they're relentless on the puck. They garnered some momentum after multiple back-to-back -back goal chains. They don't want to leave any breathing room and let their opponent get some life back. Montreal's now up by two here in the second. They really pushed the pace this entire game, James. It's going to be a question as to whether they can really close it out. And the first two strides have been urgent. That tells me they've been prepared right from puck drop. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. The Sharks will play from the defensive zone. Takes the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Allen's been really sharp tonight, James, and then just have a look at his save percentage, and he making the stops when he needs to. But man, this team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Here in the back half of this period, Montreal's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Canadians take it along the wing. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Harris has such great hands and great vision, and he gets in tight, trying to create some space with those magic mitts, but he's unable to pull it off. The Canadians are across the line and into the offensive end. Slides the puck down low. Sends the pass in front. What a chance, but they can't connect. Enters the offensive zone from the left. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Vlasic stick handling in his own zone. Sturm's picking up steam. Centering feed. And that's stopped. Takes a shot. Oh, and another save. Into the offensive zone. San Jose is looking to break out of their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. With some open space at center. They've got numbers here. Quick shot. Oh, tremendous save on the play. What an incredible save. No idea how he got to that one, James. And the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Getting into the later stages of this period, it's a 3-1 hockey game. Lots of offense already. And that goes off a player. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Angles it over to Pearson. Moves the puck across to Gallagher. The Sharks take possession here in the open ice. Quick feed to Couture. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Denies him in front. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the letter. He made the save. No rebound to boot. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Montreal's won the faceoff deep in their own end. Whiteman's got it in the defensive end. Puck grabbed by McDonald. Now he takes it over the line. Let's it go! Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Allen. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. won the face off and now let's see what they can do along the wing up the neutral zone sends it in on the attack take it along the wall by McDonald Carpenters moving it ahead puck dumped in 
moves it over to Matheson. What a collision there, and that frees up a little room. Shot! And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Montreal's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Dots won the face off here in the offensive zone. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. The Canadians have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Possession after he takes a little hit. Quick feed. 
feed to Granlin. And that's hooked away. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Montreal's across the blue line. Oh, what a violent collision there. He just got railroaded. Closed space so fast and just taken down. Here's a shot. Good save. Sturm's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Allen's going to opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. And that's knocked away. Fires it! Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Into the middle of the neutral zone. The Canadians gain possession in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. The Canadians will play it in their own end. Montreal's in now. Shot! Denies him on the play! Slides it diagonally to Sturm. San Jose is playing it from the side. Here he is in close. Denies him. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Slides it over with pace to Harris. The Canadians carry it along the wall. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Battling for it along the boards. The Sharks have it behind the cage. San Jose's got the puck against the half wall. Oh, slick work with the glove by Allen. We know the goaltender was set to this position, square to the shooter, to be able to make that glove save. Carla Bay is standing by with who had the better night. Suzuki's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Levels him with the hit. Drills him. Takes a shot. Oh, wow, what a bad save by Kekkonen. Well past the midway mark of this period, Montreal's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. Dvorak's won the draw, and they're on the attack. Cut picked up by Pacetta. And a solid stop on the play there. Eklund's carrying it ahead. The Canadians have it from their own end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. And he slides it quickly to Matheson. And that caroms off a body in traffic. And it's a quick pass to Benning. Here's a chance. Routine save made by Allen. Handles the puck. Knocked away by Eklund. Moves it to Granlin. Denies him on the one-timer! Just here in the late stages of this frame, Montreal's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. It's an off the post! San Jose is working hard even there down a bunch of goals in this one, but they need something. They need a spark, and I'll tell you what isn't a spark when it goes off the post. Denies that opportunity. Denies it again! It's in the back of the net! They score! And that might be an own goal! Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, I think so, James. Uh, I mean, goaltenders are so good at tracking the puck and fighting to find it, and I don't think he saw it or knew where it was, so his feet start swimming in the crease, and as a result, the puck goes in. That's a tough one.
when you're in a long season. Weidman's got the puck. Slides it back to the blue line. Here's a short pass to Dunn. Comes up with a monster save in front. Pokes it away in his own end. The Sharks get a hold of the puck. Sederlund's got it in the offensive zone. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the board from up here. Just oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Over the line they come. Picked up along the wall by Stern. Jocelyn to the pocket, loses control. Rocks him on the play. It's frustrating, James. You're down by a bunch late in the game. You know you're not getting back in it, and then you deliver a hit. That's all frustration right there. Thanks for joining us.